The year is 1985. The best year ever because it was the year I was born. But also, it was the year our guest won his second state championship at Connor High School. Sir, if you would, introduce yourself. Matt Shotwell. And you are the 1985 167-pound state champion. I was, yeah. And you were also the 1984 167-pound state champion, correct? That's correct. Yeah. And your bracket is, well, your match, I should say, kind of is the reason why we're here today. <laughs> um, I got my hands on the 1985 state finals. So shout out to uh, Eric Dingus at Harrison County for hooking me up with it. He you know, saw the videos and asked for years I don't have, and guess what? He had the 1985, and today we actually got our hands on the 1986 videos as well. So you guys are starting to find these old uh, relics of the past. But I put your, your match on my Facebook just so people could see um, senior referee Jack Klein referee mm -hmm. because... You know, this is my 18th come, coming into my 18th year refereeing, and I've you know seen Jack at state tournaments and heard the stories, but I never got to see him re referee. So I thought, you know, I'm not the only one. Let's put this match, and this will happen. It was a pin. I didn't realize how popular you were <laughs> because as soon as we put your video on, you got like 3,000 views just on the match, and I'm like, my goodness. And people started tagging you. We reached out, uh, communicated, and you know you were able to set all this up today. So thank you for getting this all set up and thank you for you know letting me come up here and meet with you and teammates and your Boone County guys to be able to let the world see just how good Connor wrestling was how good Boone County wrestling was and just what was going on in the 80s right fantastic yeah now how do you find wrestling well I grew up in uh, out in Burlington and my next door neighbors were the Cole brothers mm -hmm. so Todd Tom Troy all of them wrestled so you know out when you're out in the country, there's not a lot to do. Tell me about so, it. Uh, yeah, so the, uh, the guys just kind of got me into wrestling, and you know, they were real popular guys, and it was a great sport. So mm -hmm. I started wrestling just because you know, my neighbors all wrestled. And that's, that seems to be a common, you know, uh, people you like, grew up with or neighbors or people you looked up to wrestled. So, hey, let's go to the wrestling room sure. and let's, let's do it. Now, not, we don't have, unfortunately, 1984 is the year that we're missing. I would love to get my hands on it for a variety of reasons, one of them is for the Ashbrook family. Um, Josh Ashbrook, Harrison County, his father, mm -hmm. was in the state finals. Um, we don't have that year. We'd love to be able to meet with his family and do the memorial video for his father. We do have some matches of him wrestling in districts, but it's just not the same. The state finals sure. is you know, what you work for. You know what I'm saying? So if you have the 1984 state finals, please reach out. But you are the 1984 state champion, 167 pounds. Kind of walk us through that season like, you remember your record? How did it go? I can't remember my record offhand. It was uh, it was pretty good. Um, I won the, uh, the actually I lost the districts, and I lost to a kid named Chris Kiley. He was the last kid that I I technically lost to. Mm -hmm. um, he was from Simon Kenton, and I lost in overtime. And I remember when I walked off that match, uh, I was so disappointed. And I looked at Coach Bedetta and I told him I would never lose a match again, and uh, I meant that. And I just you know I'd get just I just given up on myself too many times in the past mm -hmm. and I remember giving up on myself when I wrestled Chris Kiley and he was a real good kid he wound up I think getting fourth that year at uh, 167 but um, I just decided I wasn't going to lose and then the next week we wrestled in the regions and we were both in the finals and I beat him seven to nothing oh well wow. and uh, then went on and um, won state the, the following week and that's that story of you know walking off the mat Kind of giving up on yourself is a story I've heard, and you know, mm -hmm. the, not just with wrestling, but I'm sure sports in general. So many people have said the exact same thing, and then you know, the only person that can beat you is you. Yeah, that's, especially in wrestling. Especially in wrestling, that's why I, I love you know meeting with gentlemen like yourself, being able to you know get that story that you, you've lost the district, but you end up winning the state championship, all because mm -hmm. you was like, this is it. This is I'm done. I'm done getting beat. So before track wrestling before YouTube, before Facebook, all social media, did people know who you were when you walked into a gym? Like when you walk into, you know, whatever gym for whatever tournament, they're like, oh, man, that's state champion. I'm, I'm wrestling him or... <laughs> yeah, I think my senior year they did. My, okay. My junior year, I don't think that was... Uh, I got yeah. you. I they got just, you. They just knew I was the guy standing next to Troy Cole. I, Troy, I, Troy was the ultimate. <laughs> I, I got you. He, he was the boss level. He huh? was four-time finalist. Yeah, Troy I got was, you. The he was tough. So, but you, you go in, people like you're, as a senior, they know who you are. 
you and I like, like asking this question, do you feel you're getting everybody's best shot across the board? No matter if it's an Owen 20 wrestler or a you know a Division One prospect, you feel like everybody's out just to say they beat the state champ or yeah. I think it's variable. I think sometimes, uh, you know, wrestling, as you know, anyone who's wrestled, it's, I mean, the mental component of wrestling can be really, uh, can, can be, you know, a, yeah. very, a very strong factor whether you win or not. Right. Um, I think a lot of kids, you know, really went out and gave the best. And then mm. I think some kids were, you know, kind of intimidated. And uh, I can see that. Yeah. I mean, it's, it was kind of nice sometimes when the kids were intimidated because I'll take the win. But, yeah. you know, oh, from yeah. a, a competitive standpoint, you like to, you like to get everyone's best shot. I, couldn't have said it better myself, man. Now, your your bracket here, it's got you. We'll go over the one just in a second, but it's got your record coming to the finals at 26 and 1. Right. So let's go over your bracket here. First round, you're wrestling Rick Fox from Oldham County, and it's got you winning that by a fall. The second round, it's got you wrestling Howie Alexander from North Harden. It's got you winning that also by a fall. In the semis, you're wrestling Charlie Sanders of Louisville Western. Charlie comes in fifth that year, and it's got you winning that by a fall. So you've three matches, three pins. Mm -hmm. You're on a mission, sounds like. Yep. Oh. Yeah. That's I was that. Uh, yeah. So um, my I went in with a record of 26 and one. I was mm -hmm. out three weeks my senior year. I dislocated my shoulder to Ricky Fox. The, so I wrestling him here at Connor and dislocated my shoulder and tried to finish the match because I wanted to finish the season undefeated, but it mm -hmm. just didn't work out. Had yeah. A, had a forfeit. I was a, thought the season was over, but it, uh, you know, I was able to bounce back. So. That's, that's good. You're yeah. able, you know, good comeback story. Yeah. Now, you're wrestling in the finals, a guy that's already on the channel. We didn't have any video for Mr. Bailey when we done it, but you're wrestling Steve Bailey from Hopkinsville. Now, 1985 and 1986, Hoptown wins the team state title. Mm -hmm. And Steve goes on in 1986 to win the 167-pound state championship. He does, yeah. And, of course, you know, you win it the year before, you win it this year, and then Steve goes on for the for three years in a row, the 167-pound state championship was locked up between one of you two, mm -hmm. which is kind of cool, and that's the way it should be, the two best wrestling. For some years, a guy may sneak in that, you know, got a lucky draw, got a good break. Um, not saying anybody's not deserving, but it's best, it's awesome to know that the best are out there yeah. competing for like Kentucky's not class like some states. If you win it, you're the man. Mm -hmm. I mean, like Ric Flair said, to be the man, <laughs> you gotta beat the man. Yeah. And only having one champion at Pru you know, this is we we crown one champion and I think that's the way that's the best for wrestling especially, that's the way it should be. You yeah, Steve got third a sophomore year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Steve uh, yeah, he was tough. His, his video is on the channel. We will be meeting with Steve again to go over. Now that we have the 1986 state finals, we will be meeting with Steve and get back up and getting his take on it. But had you wrestled uh, Steve before this? No, I didn't. I saw him, uh, of course, wrestle the year before. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, basically my, my whole year just really came down to Steve Bailey. I mean, he was on my mind 724, just obsessed. I got because you. Because I knew that he was going to be the one that would uh, I got you. That could uh, challenge me. And man, back in, like I said, 85, 86, Hoptown was rolling. They were tough. They had studs. Yeah, they did. They were. I mean, Hoptown was one of the best wrestling programs in the state. Woodford County hadn't caught fire yet. Union County had won a couple, but they weren't like they were. A couple of team titles, several individuals, but nothing like they are now. So Hoptown, man, you know, they were a brand. They yeah. they still are, but back then, man, they were, they were the hammer. <laughs> rolling. They were tough. Yeah. We've got a few th uh, cool little. Th um, pieces of memorabilia that Matt brought with us today. We're going to kind of pause the tape here, get everything set. We'll catch you guys there. Now, part of being a state wrestling champion is being part of a team and doing it for yourself. Mm -hmm. So kind of show us what you got there right out, right out of the gate. Well, this I call this the Cole Brothers State Championship jacket because I didn't participate in that state tournament my sophomore year, but I was on the team. I right. Was, Varsity 155, but didn't qualify for state. Um, so the Cole brothers won this one. This was our team state champion in 1983. That's awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And then um, this was my individual. Coach Bedetta made sure all the state champs got this. This was... Wow. Um, that is awesome. 1984 and 85. And still got that. So Coach was pretty awesome about making sure we all oh, got yeah. these jackets. That's, all, that's yeah. awesome, man. Be able to wear two of them. Now, of course... 
you've got your individual state championship medals. And again, I've said in every video from the 80s where they have these uh, medals with the individual wrestling caricatures on them. That's just, I mean, that is beautiful. That yeah. is a true wrestling state championship medal. And it's got, this is the uh, 1985, 167-pound and 1980, 467-pound. And, you know, they're in excellent condition. I mean, the jackets are as well. The the ribbons, everything is, you guys, of course, want to see photos of this. But man, thank you for bringing these today. Sure. These are phenomenal, uh, great piece of history. And I know a lot of the, the youngsters that watch, you know, kids wrestling today see um, who uh, actually it was Steve Bailey brought his uh, his 1986 mm -hmm. medal and a couple you know guys have reached out man we'd love to have you know this why can't we have like you're talking to the wrong person I'm just <laughs> I'm just the guy doing the videos nice. but it's awesome you know how that uh, they actually you know branded these with the KHSAA logo and had the makes you wonder if other sports had you know similar um, branded state medals like this. I, I don't have that answer. I will have to get with you know some historians on that, but it's cool, man, that you have this. You have both your jackets. Thank you for bringing this out. Sure. Now, we're going to get the uh, get our TV set up here. We're going to go back to 1985 and watch probably, I'm going to say you're tied for the best wrestling name that I've had on the channel so far because we had Hank Pinner okay. from... Uh, Hop Town, and then your last name, Shot Well. How do you wrestle? Well, he, he shot well. He shot well. <laughs> That's right. So we're going to get back, uh, get everything set up, go back to 1985, and watch you win this 1985 state championship. Louisville Atherton High School, you guys are seeing what we're seeing. This is your second time in the state finals. Now, this is your second time. You're a senior. The last time you're ever going to get to wear the red, white, and blue of Connor, be a Cougar, mm -hmm. representing them on the mats. Being in the finals in 84, did you think, I'm, I want to get this over as quick as I can, or I want to make this last as long as I can, or what, just whatever opportunity you presented? Because a lot of guys have a lot of different philosophies on the way they approach, like they're, if they're a multiple-time state champion, how they approach their, um, I guess, last finals match. Uh, it was pretty intense. I just wanted to get out there and get it done, whatever it took. <laughs> and one thing that's cool about this year is you actually have uh, Robbie Clarkson. I did. Robbie was four-time state finalist, five-time. Um, he was actually Kentucky's first four-time state final or state champion, and five-time state finalist. He was in my corner. Yeah, so and I got him and Coach Bedin in the corner. It's hard not to win. And Coach is back here. Yeah, uh, going to be giving us the play-by-play. -play. So all right, man. Let's go back. Let's do it. I think this is Fern Creek's mat. I see the big FC. I like to identify whose mat they are just in case somebody. There There's you are. Robbie Clarkson yep. there with Coach. Steve got the big uh, Hoptown H on there. Yeah. And you got Jack Klein as your official. You're a you're a big 167, just a big body. Well, when you're short. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm just pretty like, short. I'm yeah. saying like your mus your your, mu your muscular mass is big. She didn't get the leg. Yeah, it's a little arm drag. I like the arm drag. So I was pretty, you know, just pretty yeah. hyper this match. Um, pretty much on my toes. I, I respected Steve. He was mm -hmm. a great wrestler. Yeah. He's, uh, I think, a lot better than this. He's a lot better than this match indicated. So we got him pretty deep. This little throw that I used to like didn't quite work. I know mm -hmm. Coach was screaming at me this one. A little bit of danger. Yeah, a little danger. I like the legs. The kind of little funky leg wrestling really kind of... Uh, irritated people like right. put the legs in just about anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I was scared here, and um, I was just kind of in a hang-on mode. Mm -hmm. um, didn't panic, just was hoping for a stalemate. All right, so Jack calls you for a stalemate? Stalemate, I was happy. neutral? Yeah, I was happy. I looked at Coach, and he was put his hand on his head. He wasn't happy. <laughs> so th this shot was a little, you know, I think there was kind of a... Not as tough. Not right. It's been here, and you know, Nothing I yet. I think there was some intimidation here because Steve's really a good wrestler, mm -hmm. and um, I think he's a lot better than. Uh, oh, he just there it is. Tried it, and that was it. Yeah, yep. Steve, he was he was a lot better than that. That was, yeah. um, you know, I think it was um, like the mind games of uh, of the sport, and yeah. I say that respectfully because Steve was a real competitor. Oh yeah, and, yeah. Um, it's I'd like to have wrestled him 
six minutes, but I'm not going to complain about hey, the outcome. <laughs> I don't I don't blame you. Get your hand raised a second time. There's Troy, and then actually Rob Madden is right. Right there is Rob Madden. Right. He's in my corner. So that was pretty cool. And this also, I didn't show you this, but this also has the medal ceremony. Yeah, I've never seen this. From... Yeah, I'd, I'd never seen this match until I was just surfing on the net and, and saw it one day. Surprising. Hey. I think they only placed out to four, correct? Back yep. then? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Now, who's the gentleman giving the medals? Do That's you... Coach Bedetta. Okay, yeah. all right. That's Coach Bedetta. Steve. You can tell just by his walk, he wasn't too happy with his performance. Yeah, he, um, he was a lot better in that match, I promise you that. There you are, man. Coming out. All those years in the mat room paying off. Nice. Yep. So I, I, that was cool that, you know, the first time you saw it was on uh, yeah. through, on the on the Facebook page and, you know, got everything, got, th got this ball rolling up here today. Um, the, the first time you watched it, did, was you like, oh, my gosh. You know, <laughs> what? Yeah. Didn't, I, didn't Where did realize this come I went, from? Didn't or? realize I went to my back so fast like yeah. that, so it was a little scary. But uh, I was kind of kicking my feet when I was watching that match the first time. Did it uh, did it play out the way you remembered? It the ending was how I remembered. I didn't quite remember all the details. But, I got you. Um, the ending was how I remembered. <laughs> and that's you know that's the beauty of getting to do this is we don't live in the past, but this is part of our life journey. Ah, uh, this is pretty cool. Th yeah. This is, you know, your, your medals, your Letterman jackets, the match, I'm sure your family loved it. I'm sure, mm -hmm. um, your, you know, your teammates and everybody that made went to school with you. And I, a lot of people, you know, with the 3000 plus views, it's got, I mean, it, it's a testament, I guess, to how many people remember you and how just of a popular gentleman that you are. But the, you know, being able to go back, have this say, man, you know, this is, part of what shaped me into the the man I am today mm -hmm. shaped me into you know the beliefs I have and the way that we go about life in general is just one of the satisfying parts about this is because I know wrestling gets overlooked at every aspect every just about every high school there's a few your Union Counties your your Woodford's a couple other schools maybe you know have stuff in the gym or they promote it more just because they've got so many teams state titles so many individuals but for the most part I mean, wrestling gets overlooked and by just about everybody, and that's why I love this series. Is you know, gentlemen like yourself finally get your just due for all those years that nobody knew anything about what you were doing unless they were in the gym or your family, your your teammates or whatever. Mm -hmm. I I love it. So any uh, any closing words, any closing thoughts? Well, it was great to be part of the the Connor program. We had uh, you know Robbie Clarkson, mm -hmm. four time state champion. We had the three Cole brothers. I think Robbie was Kentucky's first four-time consecutive state champion. Took another 21 years for, uh, I think it was Isaac Knable oh, or Nable. Uh, Joe. Joe Joe Carr. Yeah, I think, he, but he wasn't four consecutive. But yeah, yeah, I think he was a five-time finalist. Isaac was um, four time. Isaac was 99, 2000, 2001, 2002. Yeah, yeah. it took 21 years for someone to, yeah. to match Robbie. But, you know, I, the Cole brothers, just Coach Bedetta, it was, uh, it was in, very inspirational. Being a product of this great, rich tradition mm -hmm. was awesome. That, man, again, thank you for being here, man. Thanks. I really appreciate, you know, getting everything set up and getting as many guys as you've got here today. So I greatly appreciate what you've done to help the yeah, channel fantastic. and help help me out and, you know, get, get more Northern Kentucky guys on the channel. That's all we got from 1984 and 1985. We got a lot more Connor, a lot more Boone County guys today to meet with. So we know you guys are going to enjoy it. Just let the playlist go. Enjoy it. We'll see you guys there.